Hello, my name is Samantha and in this video I'll be walking the user through the system test for the Atlan A350. To start, turn your device on. A system test will need to be performed every 24 hours or every time the device is turned on. The system test lasts for approximately 8 minutes but can be cancelled in the event of an emergency. Just keep in mind you'll need to perform a system test at the next earliest convenience. Your device will power on to this screen seen here. You'll notice a grey banner saying system has not been tested. You'll also see displayed a blue technical message advising that flow sensor calibration is required. This will be displayed until a system test has been completed. To start one, you can either select it from the test menu on the right hand side of the screen or follow the grey arrow to system test. Here the instructions for manually preparing the device for a system test are displayed. We are currently viewing the expert mode. This is recommended for users who are familiar with the device. The alternative option is selecting walkthrough mode. This is ideal and recommended for users who are not familiar with the device as it will give you highlighted pictures and captions for every step. To start, ensure that all the hoses are connected. So ensuring the hoses on the ports are firmly attached. Then seal the wire piece. This is the wire piece of the breathing circuit and it needs to be occluded at the notch located on the bag port. Set the APL valve to 30. Close the oxygen flow control valve. This is the oxygen flow control valve, making sure it is closed. Setting the oxygen switch to auxiliary oxygen. This is the oxygen switch, making sure it's pointing to auxiliary oxygen. Then, once this page has been completed, press the tick. Now we are looking at the vaporizers. To check that your vaporizer is firmly attached and locked in place is by ensuring that the lever is pushed all the way back. This will indicate it's in a locked position. Check that the filling inlet is properly threaded and closed. Ensure that the dial is set to zero and check that the you have adequate fill through the sight glass. Then press the tick. Now we are looking at the gas flow. To verify your cylinder pressures are okay, you'll need to open up the valves on the reserve gas cylinders on the back of the device. Once the pressure is registered, it will be displayed on your screen here. You should also see a green colour coded dot next to each gas to indicate adequate pressure. This will also be displayed on this screen here. Your cylinder symbols will ideally have four black squares which will represent a full cylinder. Every square represents about 25%. Now set this oxygen switch to add O2 and open the flow control valve. Setting the oxygen switch to add O2 and opening the flow control valve to a high flow. Does the flow meter indicate flow? Yes, it's indicating a flow here. And does the breathing bag fill? Yes, the breathing bag is expanding. Then close the flow control valve and set the oxygen switch to auxiliary oxygen. Note, this is a resting position. Then press the tick. We're now looking at the breathing circuit. Check that your hoses and filter are correctly connected. This will remind you to connect your filter if you haven't done so already. Length of extendable hose is okay. For users that use expandable circuits, please fully extend your circuit out to the appropriate length. Water removed from hoses. Visually inspect your circuit to look for any fluid accumulation. If this is noticed, either exchange to a fresh breathing circuit or empty out the breathing hoses. Then press the tick. Valves. Press and hold O2 flush Pressure does not exceed 45. So for this part here, you'll need to look at the pressure gauge on the left of your screen. Holding down the oxygen flush, does the pressure exceed 45? No, it doesn't. Release the oxygen flush, 
Does the pressure fall below 15? The pressure is holding and over 15. Lift the APL valve. Does the pressure drop? For this, simply pull the APL valve up and this will release the pressure. Just keep in mind to leave your APL valve on 30. Remove the breathing system cover. Can you see the inspiratory and expiratory valves? So lifting up the breathing system cover and looking for the yellow and the blue inspiratory and expiratory valves. Then press the tick. Components. Touch a symbol, a two tones audible. You should be able to hear a low and a high pitched tone. This is testing the backup speaker. If you do miss it, press it again. Then check that your suctioning device is functional as per your usual practice. Ensure a manual resuscitator is present in case of device malfunction. And check the flow of your scavenging system is okay by making sure it's connected and on and that the blue flap is between the min and the max lines. Then press OK. Now we're up to the accessories. To check that your soda lime is OK, visually inspect your soda lime for any significant discoloration. Soda lime will change from white to purple when exhausted. At this point, you can reset the date and the timestamp if you exchange a soda lime. Connect your sample line. Ensure one end of the sample line is connected to the water trap and the other end to the machine side of the filter. And then check that your water trap is okay. This is done by visually inspecting your water trap for any fluid accumulation. If this is noticed, a slip syringe can be placed into the black port to remove the excess fluid. If the water trap is blocked, you'll notice a discoloration of the top two ports they will change to a blue colour. To return the water trap, squeeze the clips and firmly push into the holder until you hear a click. Then press the tick to start the initialization for the system test. Please remain with the device during the 60 second initialization for the system test. This is because if there are any faults or issues detected, the initialization will pause. This will allow you to be able to remedy and troubleshoot the issue and then continue the initialization. When a fault has been detected, the device will indicate the possible fault, the possible remedy, and a highlighted image to help you troubleshoot the issue. In this case, the oxygen switch has been left on add O2. So set the switch back to auxiliary oxygen and then press repeat to resume the initialization. The system test will run for approximately eight minutes but can be canceled at any time. On completion of the system test, the device will return to the standby screen. Your system test results will be displayed in this area here with the date and the timestamp and the leakage indicated in mils per minute. This green banner represents that the system is fully operational and it points you in the direction to start therapy. If this was yellow, it will indicate your system is conditionally functioning with some limitations or restrictions, which will be listed here. If this banner is red, it indicates that a serious fault was detected. You will not be able to use a device and you should contact your biomedical engineer. To bring up the results or details of your system test, select details. The steps of the system test are listed with the relevant color coded results against each step. To return to the main screen, press cancel. To perform a leakage test, this can be accessed from the standby screen. Select the test button on the right hand side of the main screen and under available tests, you'll find the leakage test option. Simply follow the steps that are listed on the screen. A leakage test should be performed anytime the breathing system is modified. For example, when a new breathing circuit is attached or when you exchange the soda line. 
It can also be completed following a system test to verify if there's any potential leaks from the back bar. This is done by setting your dial to the lowest setting, then performing your leakage test. Just keep in mind you'll need to set the dial back to zero at the completion of the leak test. On completion of the leakage test, the device will return to the standby screen. Your new leakage value will be displayed here with the relevant date and time stamp. For further information, please refer to the instructions for use or contact your local Draeger representative.